As a second wave of COVID-19 hits Australia, so is a second wave of panic buying. While supermarket shelves are being emptied out of food and household items, the toilet paper has by far become Australia's hottest item. Fortunately, not all Australians need toilet paper, as this special report finds out. G'day, my name's James, and I've never used toilet paper. James is believed to be the last non-toilet paper user in the city of Toowoomba. Where my parents came from Asia, wherever it is, and they do it each time after they do a doo doo. So I just adopted it, you know, and um, I guess uh, you can say that's my Asian heritage. The method is surprisingly simple. Well, I just, I just use tap water, you know, if it's safe for drinking. I reckon it's safe to be used, you know, for the other end. We asked James if he could show us his technique, and fortunately, he duly obliged. Well, what, what I usually do is that um, I just take this uh, sort of hose and um, I sort of give it a spray in the front, you know. Uh, it's very good for those little twos, which uh, doesn't happen very often for me nowadays. Um, I, I like going from the front and not from the back, you know, because when I was little, I went from the back and I sprayed it, kind of hit my face. <laughs> I remember that taste. James had more to tell us. Yeah, guys, I just uh, confine myself in this wet area of my bathroom here, you know, so that things uh, won't get out. That the stronger the spray, the wider the spread. That's what my dad used to tell me. And here are some of his tools. Um, it's important to get the right amount of current and volume of water in the targeted area. So I use uh, a shower that is adjustable. This setting is uh, perfect for me. It's ticklish, but um, it does the job really quick. But the setting, well, it takes two days. And now his fingers get involved. Now I'm just going to show you what you can do with your, with your hands when you're cleaning your bum. Um, you have to make sure that your hands are absolutely clean. Otherwise, you know, you might walk clean for a few days. So what you're going to do is I'm just going to use my mouth as my bum hole because I can't really show you my real bum hole but the bum hole is really like a mouth when it's pouting, you know, it's like this so what am I going to do is I'm just going to start shooting my bum hole in, from one direction and I'm, I'm just going to use two of my fingers I'm just going to start rubbing it in, okay? If you get some soap, like this tiny bar soaps, it's really good for bum holes. What you're going to do is you're going to start rubbing it on your bum hole. But only use um, bar soaps which are white in colour, so you can differentiate the colour if it's, you know, a bit dirty. Yeah. So what you do is, just like your finger, you kind of rub it on your bum hole. Okay, and if you're adventurous, you can always do it with an